What's going on, everybody? And I hope you've enjoyed your Thursday night and Friday morning. This is NYG Jeffy T85 here, and I'm bringing you the BKN game recap for the Brooklyn Nets as they travel down to Phoenix to take on the Phoenix Suns tonight on TNT. And the Nets, you're going to look at the final score, and you're going to think, hey, this is actually not that uh this was actually a very competitive game. You watched the fourth quarter. It actually was a back and forth game between the Suns and the Nets. Both teams missing some key players. Phoenix was playing without campaign, but especially they were playing without Devin Booker and Chris Paul, all those guys out with injury. And the Nets were without Kevin Durant. And the Nets Nets are now in a big time Nets are on a losing streak now. They've lost four in a row. And they have now fallen to the Phoenix Suns tonight by the final score of 117 to 112. Nets are now 27 and 17 on the season. They've lost four in a row. They're sliding. Their confidence is not where it was before. And this is uh this has been bad. And you're gonna look at the score and think this was actually a highly competitive game throughout. Guess what? It wasn't. This was not a highly competitive game at all for most of it. The Nets were trailing at one point in this game by 24 points in the third quarter. Kyrie Irving scored 30 points. But guess what? Kyrie Irving was miserable for shooting from the field. He did not start getting going until the fourth quarter when he scored about 18 points of his 30. We're in the fourth quarter. Irving was doing nothing for the Nets for pretty much this entire game. He really started to just catch fire in that fourth quarter for the Nets. But he shot 11 of 27. His shots finally started to fall in the fourth quarter, and he did play very well in this fourth quarter for the Nets, but it was a little bit it was too little too late. Same thing with Nicholas Claxton. Claxton also played a lot better in the fourth quarter. In fact, I will say Claxton and Irving led the charge for the Nets in that fourth quarter overall. Both of them. They really helped lead the charge and bring this Nets team back in the game. But like I said, too little too late. The Nets rebounding against the Phoenix Suns tonight was horrendous. The rebounding actually looks a lot better now. But the Nets got out-rebounded by 15. DeAndre Ayton was doing whatever the hell he wanted in most of this game. Ayton had 24 points and 14 rebounds. Miles Bridges also did whatever he wanted on the court. He had 28. And Cam Johnson, his first game back, scored 19 off the bench. And Saban Lee. Saban Lee also had a big game. He also played well for the Phoenix Suns. He had 15 off the bench. Damian Lee had 16 in the starting lineup. This was this is this was a very bad performance by the Brooklyn Nets. They committed 33 personal fouls. 33. How the hell can you win a basketball game if A, you're getting out-rebounded by 15, B, you're giving up 33 33 personal fouls. And see, you trail by 24 points in the third quarter, and you have to literally make an insurmountable comeback to at least make this game look even a little bit better. <laughs> I really had the confidence in this basketball team and said this basketball team could still play well and stay above float with Kevin Durant out. That this team is in better condition and better shape compared to last year when Durant went out for a season for for a month and a half to two months with that MCL sprain in his left knee. Now he's gotten his right knee. Well, guess what? Right now it's just it's wrong. I've been dead wrong. This team is just they they they've it's like they've lost their mojo on the court. It's like the Nets had their mojo ripped out of them and they forgot how to play basketball. 
They looked lethargic. They looked like just didn't even know what they didn't look like they didn't even want to be there in this first half. And oh yeah, Ben Simmons got ejected in with 8:47 left to go in the third quarter for two technical fouls and he was miserable tonight. Simmons was not playing well before he got ejected. He had 7 points, 6 rebounds, 4 turnovers and 5 personal fouls. <laughs> If this is what you're going to get from Ben Simmons, you might as well just try to sell him off at the trade deadline. Clack, Nicholas Claxton, he stepped his game up towards the end. He had 20 points and 11 rebounds with 3 assists and 3 block shots and 1 steal in 35 minutes. 9-12 from the field, but let's just be real. Claxton had an opportunity to cut this lead to 1. And he bricked both foul shots. He bricked both foul shots and then called, got called for a lane violation when he tried to ricochet off the backboard and run in and get the rebound. He got called for a lane violation when they were down by three. And then turned the ball over. In fact, the Nets were trailing by five at one point. They had multiple opportunities, three straight possessions where the Nets had a chance to be able to get that lead down to three or maybe even two. And they turned the ball over three straight times. Nets actually only had 12 turnovers in the game. 12. Phoenix actually had more turnovers than the Nets. But the Nets turned the ball over at the worst time. The worst opportunity and the worst time, that's when the Nets decided to turn the ball over. Royce O'Neal was invisible in this game. Four points, four assists, one steal. Three rebounds in 34 minutes. One of seven from the field. This was not a good performance tonight by Royce O'Neal. T.J. Warren only played eight minutes. He scored three points. One of three from the field. Joe Harris actually shot the ball very well tonight. In fact, Joe Harris was perfect from the field. Six of six from the, free, from the field. Four of four from the three-point line for 16 points. I don't know why they didn't try to get the ball in Harris' hands a little bit more when he, was, when he was on fire. Harris played well. I'd argue if Claxton... And Irving didn't turn it up in the fourth quarter. Harris had the overall best game out of all the Nets tonight. But Royce O'Neal and Ben Simmons were not good at all. Cam Thomas, when he played in the first half, he had thirteen. He had uh, 15 points in 13 minutes. Thomas gave them a spark off the bench for the most part, but he didn't play much in the second half. And Curry had 16 points off the bench in 36 minutes, 6 of 10 from the field. Thomas was 6 and 11. But like I said, Irving was not shooting. But Irving did not have a good game tonight. He didn't. At one point, Irving was shooting nine. He was at one point. Irving was shooting nine of twenty-four. Like I said, he shot eleven of twenty-seven from the field. That is bad. Claxton had his opportunity to at least cut this lead to one point. And he bricked both foul shots. Ben Simmons getting ejected in the third quarter hurt this Nets team. Because they needed his defense. And the Nets pretty much playing lethargic for the first three quarters hurt this team even more. Right now this Nets team, and this is a major test for Jacques Vaughn. Your team right now is spiraling out of control. You have lost four straight games. You're dropping in the standings. You are already coming into this game in the fourth spot in the Eastern Conference. Now you look like you're about to drop to the fifth spot. Four games lost in a row. And this is exactly what happened to this basketball team last year when Kevin Durant got hurt. This team spiraled out of control. And this team couldn't get it together. And then they ended up getting all the way down to the playing game. And then they ended up getting bounced in the first round by the Boston Celtics. It is clear as day right now this Nets team needs help in the front court. If Claxton is not doing anything in the front court, whether it's blocking shots or rebounding, the Nets have absolutely zero front court presence. And Yuta Watanabe, I was, praising, I was praising this guy this entire time, and guess what? He's done virtually nothing for the Nets off the bench. Nothing. <laughs> 
Watanabe has hit a cold has had a, held, hit a cold spell. Dayron Sharp comes in, picks up a flagrant one on an elbow to the neck of Bismack Biyombo. And the Nets got killed by the Phoenix Suns' best three players on the court tonight. Cam Johnson, DeAndre Ayton, and Michael Bridges pretty much destroyed the Nets on the court. The Nets have now lost four in a row. They're dropping in the standings. And they, they're pretty much playing three games in the last four. They've already dropped the game tonight. They have a date tomorrow, or I should say tonight. Dropped the game last night against Phoenix. Now that's Friday morning. Now they're playing against the Utah Jazz tonight at 9 o'clock. And then they have a date against the Golden State Warriors on Sunday night. Then they obviously then they have to get a few days off. A couple days off before they travel to Philadelphia and the and the 76ers right now are playing great basketball. The Nets need to get it they need to right the ship and right the ship soon. Or this team is in big time trouble. Big time trouble. So we'll see what's going to happen. But right now, this Nets team looks like garbage. And they better start turning it around or it's going to get ugly. The you-know-what is going to get ugly with this basketball team. So this is your BKN game recap for the Nets. They fall to the Phoenix Suns tonight by the final score of 117-112. to 112. They've lost four straight now and they travel to Utah tonight. Looking to break a four-game losing streak. And the Nets have now dropped to fourth in the seed. And it looks like they could drop to fifth. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. Sub up if you haven't already to NYGJeffyT85 for more breaking news updates, chatter, and game recaps around the Brooklyn Nets. Turn on the bell for notifications. The next video is short. They'll be dropping on the channel surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about tonight's... Uh, let's just be real. It was a disaster. I know they came back in the end of the game, but this was an out-and-out -out disastrous game tonight by the Brooklyn Nets. Let me know in the comments section how you guys feel. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your overnight. Take it easy, and let's go Brooklyn Nets. As always, it's a Nets world, and we all just live in it.